So right now it is going through the list of access points that it scanned, looking for any that are open and don't have any uh, encryption that's on them. Uh, once it identifies one, it tries to connect to it. So that's what it's doing right now. So it's testing the second network in the list, which it doesn't, uh, it's not currently displaying the name of the network that it's testing, uh, kind of intentionally. Um, and the little twiddler that's on the side is just letting you know that it's trying to connect to it. Uh, if it connects to it, it will display the SSID uh, the signal strength and the IP address that it acquired. It will then attempt to authenticate, uh, or after it's authenticated the network, it will then attempt to go out to a website that I control, pull down um, the content of the page, and then verify that it in fact accessed uh, that page, so looking for true open access, not just authentication. And if you notice here, uh, before it was at testing two, now it's at testing four. So number four is the fourth uh, network, which is now, that's the next open network. So the previous one, although it reported it didn't have any protection on it, um, it's probably doing Mac filtering or it just couldn't connect to it, couldn't get a good, good signal. So that's why it's now jumped up to testing number four. Uh, and that's also why I didn't want to show the SSID um, before it, it authenticated. So as soon as it runs through, we should see one. And I did put an open network around here, so this way that it will uh, identify and connect to it. And there's also um, a couple of Xfinity networks here. So here's one, uh, Cisco Guest. This is, I guess, one of my neighbors. Uh, if you notice, though, it doesn't say open access or anything like that. So it's because it wasn't able to connect um, out. So it's just it was able to get that IP address uh, with a negative 88 decibel signal strength. Uh, and then that's it. So you can use that to now obviously connect in and then maybe see if you can see uh, outside or, or do anything. Uh, let's see. I think last time when I ran this, the one that I put in that had open access uh, was number like 11 or, or 14 or something along those lines. So it should get to that relatively soon. Yep, so this is the one that I put in. So you can see it's now got an IP address. It's now currently going out, trying to test to it, and then boom, open access. So it's that one, ignore me. It's got a decent signal strength. You got an IP address and you had open access. You could get out to the outside world. Uh, it then leaves that displayed while it keeps looking through the next one. So this way that if you wanted to, you can connect into it, you can do whatever. Uh, and then when it finds another one, it'll clear things out. So. And then once it reaches the end, it goes back, it scans again, and uh, it starts all over. So that's my little uh, toy.